You make me feel Hello my babies, you're here again with me, baby. Welcome back to my channel! If you are not yet a subscriber here, then please click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell as well because it is very unpredictable here. And I say that because I made a very unpredictable purchase recently. I promise this was the last one of 2021. And times have been so crazy i've been so busy so i actually have not unboxed this bag just yet you know i haven't used it it's been in storage for like a month and i decided it would be a great idea to unbox it here on my vlog i also wanted to share my top five wish list of things from hermes that i want still so watch out for that as well okay we're gonna begin with this unboxing but just a little backstory i'm going to summarize how the heck i bought this so what happened was I really wanted a Christmas gift to myself and I wanted it to be Hermes. I wanted to get a Birkin or a Kelly. I looked at resellers who would sell them for like three, four times the price. So I passed on that. I looked at pre-loved and I did see actually quite a couple that I was very interested in but I just didn't pull the trigger. I decided if I'm gonna go to Hermes anyway and I wanted to get a taste of their brand i might as well do the store experience and visit so i have put a pause on my dreams of a uh, birkin or a kelly but i was so excited anyway because there are other bags that i wanted to try some entry-level bags i really wanted an evelyn a picotin husby and i decided to get an appointment i think in november sometime mid-november and i would say that this visit was a little disappointing because they told me there's nothing available <laughs> they didn't even assign me to an sa you guys i got a visual merchandiser she was very friendly but she didn't even tell me that she was not an sa until like i was done with my visit she said she would assign me to someone someone would text me but nobody did so i think randomly like in, in december i wanted to just come by drop by see what's up assign myself to an sa because i would like to get a bag for myself i went to hermes um on like a weird time like a tuesday afternoon <laughs> i got assigned to an sa because there was nobody there and he was really nice his name is juan so i don't know if he'll, they'll ever watch these vlogs of mine but juan is awesome um he did tell me there was nothing available and i was slightly disappointed once again but i was getting used to it <laughs> thing is when i was already at home i already took a bath i got a message from juan and yes he tells me that the evelyn that i wanted is all of a sudden in stock and I should come by right now if I want to get it. So that's what I did. After my shower, I ran. <laughs> Holy cow, I literally just got home and yet I have to go out because the bugs, the bugs, the bugs are available. <clears throat> Is this it? Is this the day? Oh gosh. And I was like, okay, I'm ready for the Evelyn. Let's go. He comes out with this biscuit colored one. And I was so ready to be disappointed for the third time. I don't like it. I will have to say it. It looks too much like food. I would really love a neutral color that's not biscuit. But alas, that's all he had. So as I was thinking of whether I'm going to get it or not, he tells me that there is a picotan as well. And I was like, huh? It was the display, the etupe one, and I was already so happy. I think they pitied me so much <laughs> from this, from making me sad so many times in one year slash for going there right after my shower and rushing that he offers me a really rare color that was at the back in the storage. I cannot even explain how happy I was when he said that because I think I like the Picotan a lot more than the Evelyn just because, you know, uh, it looks a lot more elegant and classic. I know the story was long but I feel like it's part of the reason why I love this bag so much. Um, the journey, they say. <laughs> to me, it was so exciting because the experience was so unique and also because this color 
was like my dream color i never expected to get it for it to be available right there and then i was so grateful i was so happy and i'm now gonna unbox it okay that's enough so as you can see we have this rectangular box with the hermes logo up in front we have some beautiful tissue over here and i say beautiful because it's so nicely folded and i understand the h-ness of it I, I don't know <laughs> it's like an h right look at all those lines no all right fine whatever bring out this dust bag this is a big deal because it's my first Hermes bag okay so the dust bag is a nice canvas with this lovely pattern over there we have the logo with the horses it is an equestrian brand so you know I got a picotan this is the 18 so it's a smaller size and I got it in the Nata color. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is their white color, which is so insane because this resells for so high. It's so crazy. I'm, I'm still super in awe that I was able to get this. But anyway, that's enough of me reacting. Let's open the bag. It is a cream color it's not completely white i would say it's like an off-white kind of creamy tone inside we also have a little dust bag with our keys and our lock so you're supposed to put the lock up on here which i'm gonna do right now how exciting this is the first time to open this up and use it so as you can see that very popular h lock just clip it on right there Oh my gosh feels so final when you do that this bag is inspired by you know the sacks where the horses eat that's why it basically has like a sack shape i love this picotan and um, i like that you can wear it this way for an easier look but you can also tuck it in so it looks a little bit more structured it is basically a handheld bag like this so oh my gosh you guys i'm gonna be washing my hands a lot <laughs> before using this bag i could use it on my arm like this or just hold it yeah why not so taking a look at the bag if you guys are not familiar with this yet we do have a sack like structure we have our two handles over there and the leather, it is green on the outside, but it's like raw leather on the inside, like unfinished leather. It's very soft and velvety. Our hardware over here, it is the silver or the palladium hardware. I'm guessing this has a sticker. Yeah, it has a sticker, that's why it's not so shiny, but I'm not gonna remove that, don't judge me. We also have some feet over here to protect the bottom. But you know, bags like these, I tend to bring like a scarf so that they never touch anything. And inside we have our Hermes logo in like a silver color. This bag is so beautifully made and it is so lightweight. And I am so, 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 so glad that I got this. I'm so excited to style it. It is like a very light color. I know I do a lot of black and dark brown. But I think that's what makes this so special for me is that it looks so beautiful and elegant. So different from my other bags. And I cannot wait to style it with more dresses and um, girlier outfits or even, you know, something like this with maybe white shoes or whatever. Uh, it is a neutral and I think you can't go wrong with neutrals like this. That said, I have had this for like a month. So I've already bought myself like a Samorga. I am very afraid of getting the inside dirty. So that is one major reason why I got this. Okay, this is what it looks like with the Samorga insert. Now, I guess you can't really do this too much. It's really gonna poof out because it is a little stiff. So I guess I'll just leave it like this. Oh, gosh, I'm so excited. All right, now that I've unboxed my very first Hermes item, I also wanted to list down a bunch of things that I still really want from the brand. So first up, I really still want our Evelyn TPM in maybe a black or an etoupe or maybe a gold color, okay? The brown. I just feel like this bag is so small and so casual and it goes with a lot of my type of outfits 
very well. Next one, I really have been eyeing the her bag, um, the small one, and I really want it in that black on black kind of combo, which the store told me they don't really get. So that's too bad. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna go about that because obviously you're gonna go for resale or for second hand, but. I'm not really into that for Hermes, so we're gonna see what happens with that, but that's it for number two. Number three, I want Oran sandals, and I want them in white because I feel like they're the perfect, elegant, girly sandals, which you can use like anywhere, like with anything, to the beach, to a dinner, whatever. They're always like sold out in green belt, so I'm not really sure when I'm ever gonna get these sandals in the color that I want. It's also pretty hard because I'm not sure how to size for it because a lot of people say, you know, true to size. A lot of people would say half size up. And because these things are handmade, I'm not really sure if they would be like exactly the same sizing wise. I feel I feel like it would still be better if I could try it on, so. <sighs> Sucks to be in the Philippines. Number four and number five, I'm not gonna lie, I still do want a Kelly and a Birkin. These are actually my dream bags, my top two, and I'm not really sure when I'm ever gonna get them, but... I guess I'm not in a rush anymore and I guess that makes it fun to have a sort of goal. Uh, it feels like a game now, <laughs> a really horrible game that a lot of people hate but it is what it is and Hermes is making us play it so. That said, I'm so excited still and I'm so grateful that I was able to purchase this. It is not the cheapest, but you guys, when you can get it in store, it is a lot cheaper when compared to buying it from a reseller. <laughs> anyway, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing slash wishlist video. It is our first one for 2022. I feel like we are starting strong, but not really because we should be saving money as well. Mm. It's an investment, right? It's an investment. Let me know what you think of this bag in the comment section down below. And if you have it, please let me know how to take care of it. I am so afraid of getting this bag dirty. <laughs> it is so light colored. Oh my baby. I'll see you guys again next time. Peace and love. Bye. The same color in Gosh, it's the best day ever. <laughs> yes, and this is for me. This is this is this color is very edgy. I don't know. It's so cool. There you go. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks welcome. So much, you're welcome. Oh my gosh. You're welcome. In all your Pambahai glory. Yes. yes. <laughs>